So Blake Griffin uh, out for four to six weeks, 2-0 and right now without him. Uh, but they've shown in the past, Chuck, and I know what you say about winning playoff series and that kind of thing, but they've shown that they're able to, to win games without Blake Griffin well, in I, there. I think there's a couple. Number one, don't be one. I don't want people to think we're one of these fools on the other networks who talk about they're better without Blake. They're not better without Blake. Uh, they're not going to win a championship without Blake. The advantage they got is Doc has really improved their bench. You saw Raymond Felton played fantastic night. Space played well. 58-33 yeah, bench points. That, that's tonight. the biggest difference between this Clipper team in the last few years. The good thing about it, there's so many bad teams in the NBA. They only have to – they only go – they're going to be better more than probably 85% of the teams. I mean, you take away the Cavaliers, you take away the Warriors – and the Clippers, I'm not excuse me, the, the Spurs, NBA. like they're better. I'm watch basketball. It, no, but I'm talking about it, without Blake Griffin, what teams are better without them other than the Spurs maybe, the Warriors, and the, and the, and the Cavaliers? They're still better than other teams in the league. But the key is it's still going to come down in the West to the Warriors, the Spurs, and the Clippers. So uh, they're going to win a lot of games, but they're not going to win the championship without Blake Griffin.